Kirk Young here from LearningGolf.tv. Today talking about the basics of hitting good drive. And a lot of people struggle with common elements of hitting a driver uh, as far as how high to tee the ball and ball position, aim, and such manners. The setup is really, really critical uh, when it comes to the driver, uh, probably more so than any other club because to me it's the most important golf shot in that if you put it in play and with a decent distance in the fairway, it makes the hole a lot easier to play. If you hit a bad one, hit it out of bounds or lose the ball, there's really no putt or chip or anything that's gonna make up for that. So we need to hit consistently good drive. So yeah. to me, it revolves around the setup simply because if we get set up, ideally and close to where we're gonna be at impact, it's obviously easier to hit the ball well with less compensation than it is with more. For example, if I set up very close to the ball, we know that when I create speed, I'm going to have to let the arms and clubs extend. So in order to make impact, I'm going to have to somehow make room for the arms extending, or I'm going to have to pull the arms in, which some people do, which is catastrophic in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it's never gonna produce distance or consistency. So what you need to do is find your distance from the ball and my setup for impact method also teaches you to put the trailing right hand in a non-rotational position so we do not have to manipulate the golf club through impact in order to square the club face. So this basically guarantees a square club face and we're setting up also on our impact plane. So it would look like this, the club's in alignment, set up exactly where it would be at impact. So like this, and that's where we're going to be at impact as well, with the main difference being the body's going to be more turned. So conventionally, setup is here, and impact, we need to compensate for getting the club face square, as well as the change between the angle at setup to a straighter impact position. So getting set up makes it easier, and then the ball position, it's very important to have the ball off the left leg, I like to say the left ankle, uh, so we don't have to worry about what part of the foot, it's basically across from the left ankle, as we're trying in most cases, trying to hit the ball on the upswing. The ball should be teed up so that at least half of the ball is above the top of the driver, or the crown of the driver is here, so at least half the ball would be above the top of the driver. I tee it up a little higher, and the reason for that is we want to be hitting the ball as the club is moving up. And that's so that we can get a higher launch angle with less backspin. So the aerodynamics of ball flight say the ball will go farther if we can launch it with less backspin at a higher launch angle. So checking the alignment, uh, I like to check it like this, basically holding the club over my toes and making sure that I'm lined up towards the target. And then I can check also my ball position. So basically getting set up, I also make sure that my body is not open relative to the target line. A lot of people will set up with their body facing the ball, and in that case, their body is open. So I need to make sure we're set up for impact. We've got the alignment, the body here. And then from this position, all we need to do is turn back and turn through, and we should make a good impact. So give it a try your next time out. Let me know how it goes. So my complete learning system is available at learninggolf.tv, basically teaching you how to find your ideal grip, setup, and impact position, all customizable for each individual. The first five drills teach you in slow motion how to make the entire golf swing, which you can basically practice anywhere at home, away, or on the range. And then the ball striking drills will teach you how to take it to the driving range and golf course. So members can also submit videos for my review through the free V1 Golf app and can submit questions by email. And soon there will also be webinars for members. I also have digital downloads available as well as DVDs. So please visit learninggolf.tv today and get started learning the setup for impact golf swing, the easiest way to swing a golf club.
please also subscribe here on YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much and have a great day.